check with Commander Mark Kelly aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor as it uh, has acquired the okay. tracking station at Merritt Island, Florida. Speed now, 4,600 4, miles an hour, Mach 6.7, altitude 26 miles, 243 miles to the landing site. It'll continuing to bleed off excess speed at an angle of uh, 40 degrees on its bank. Crossing over the coast of Florida near Fort Myers, Florida. Speed now just under 4,000 miles an hour. Mach 5.7. Altitude just under 25 miles. 190 miles to the landing site. At this point, the shuttle should have uh, passed through the uh, peak heating levels. And we've uh, acquired the Merritt Island Tracking Station. Coming up on the Terminal Area Energy Management, which begins about 85,000 feet at uh, Mach 2.5. This includes uh, two air data probes deployed, which provide additional uh, data on the uh, speed and approach of Endeavour to the Kennedy Space Center. Speed now 2,858 miles an hour, just over Mach 4, altitude 20 miles, 123 miles to the landing site. Endeavor, take air data. Copy, taking air data. Spacecraft communicator, Butch Wilmore telling Commander Mark Kelly that he's uh, go to take uh, data from the air data probes. There are two deployable air data probes and four air to data transducer assemblies that provide information to computers and cockpit displays about the movement of the shuttle through the air mass. Probes are on the left and right sides of the forward portion of the lower fuselage. Speed now, 1,900 miles an hour, Mach 2.8, altitude 16.6 miles, 75 miles to the landing site. We're now in the area of Terminal Area Energy Management. Endeavor, we show you on energy approaching the hack. Your winds are now a slight tailwind, about three knots. Nominal shoot. Copy the tailwind and nominal shoot. Uh, what's the crosswind looking like? Yeah, there's no crosswind at this time. It's all tail. Speed now on Mach 1.9, altitude 14 miles, range to the target uh, 69 miles. 
Butch Wilmore providing uh, Mark Kelly with an update on the weather that will have a slight tailwind. He's about to make a 245 degree left hand turn to align with the uh, north to south runway at Kennedy Space Center, runway 15. Three good auxiliary power units providing hydraulic pressure for the aero control systems. Air data probes providing additional data using atmospheric pressure to the computers on board. Switching our satellite to Kennedy Space Center in Florida, we're, receive, we're receiving good uh, heads-up display video. Speed now 638 miles an hour, just under Mach 1, descending below the speed of sound. Altitude 9.2 miles, 69 miles to the landing site. Again, this is a view out the uh, pilot, uh, Greg Johnson's heads-up display as uh, Sonic boom. speed now, Mach 0.8, 522 miles an hour, altitude uh, six and a half miles. Pilot Greg Johnson now taking control of the stick uh, for a brief period. Altitude five and a half miles. Endeavor on at the 180. Roger, on at the 180. That call means that uh, space shuttle is uh, on track at the 180 degree point in the heading alignment circle. All systems looking good. Altitude 23,000 feet. 13 miles to the landing site. Speed now 483 miles an hour. We're aiming for about 215 miles an hour for touchdown. Endeavor on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. And the 90 degree point of the heading alignment circle, the shuttle is uh, on course and on speed. Houston Endeavor, runway's in sight. Copy Endeavor, runway in sight. And a tally ho from the uh, flight crew of the runway. I can see it in sight now. Speed now 400 miles an hour. Altitude 2.2 miles, or 110,000 feet, 7 miles to the landing site. Approximately uh, three miles to the landing site, and there is the runway. Mm -hmm. 
speed. And there's a referred tank view of the uh, Space Shuttle Endeavour as it's coming in for a landing. Gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Drag chute deployed by Greg Johnson. Forward gear touchdown. And so after a journey of six and a half million miles, Endeavour landing in darkness, but illuminated by the ingenuity, dedication of every astronaut, scientist, engineer, flight controller, mechanic and dreamer that helped it fly, the fleet's youngest ship completing its 120 two millionth mile after its crew delivered an instrument to the International Space Station that will sift through the cosmic darkness for years to come. Houston, Endeavour, we'll stop. 122 million miles flown during 25 challenging space flights. Your landing ends a vibrant legacy for this amazing vehicle that will long be remembered. Welcome home, Endeavour. Yeah, thank you, Houston. You know, the Space Shuttle is an amazing vehicle to fly through the atmosphere, hit it at Mach 25, uh, I mean, steer through the atmosphere like an airplane, land on a runway. It is really, really an incredible ship. On behalf of my entire crew, I want to thank every person that's worked for to get this mission going and every person that's worked on Endeavor. Um, it's sad to see her land for the last time, uh, but she really has a great legacy. Great words. Thank you, Mark. And we will meet you and your crew on 5 3. 5 3. And so the Space Shuttle Endeavour touching down at Kennedy Space Center uh, on time at uh, 1 35 a.m. Central Time, 2 35 a.m. Eastern. Commander Mark Kelly guiding it to a uh, very gentle touchdown on runway 15 at Kennedy Space Center Shuttle Landing Facility. Endeavour's crew will now begin uh, reconfiguring the space shuttle so that uh, crews can get out there from the convoy and begin safing the vehicle. Convoy Commander Endeavour, out of here. Got you loud and clear, is this beam? Here's a look down the runway uh, that uh, Endeavour just uh, completed a landing at coming in from the north uh, on runway 15, completing touchdown at 1.35 a.m. Central Time, completing a uh, total of 6,510,221 miles over 248 orbits, completing uh, the 25th mission for Endeavour. It has a total of 299 days in space now, completing 4,671 orbits, and a total of 122,853,151 miles in its career. The final touchdown of Endeavour occurring as uh, the Space Shuttle Atlantis was rolling out to the launch pad, getting ready for its final flight and the final flight of the Space Shuttle program.
Uh, Endeavor, we are ready for RAD reconfig on page 5-8. Okay, going to 5-8. Okay, Endeavor, we're going to RAD reconfig on page 5-8. Okay, Endeavor, hydraulic load test is not required. Hydraulic test not required. And Houston, uh, RAD reconfig is complete. Do you want me to go to ammonia activation? Endeavor, we're going to wait till the VAP out T's are greater than 55. Once we get there, we'll go to Bravo Secon. Copy the Bravo Secon at greater than 55. Control Houston continuing to watch Endeavor as the crew on board uh, continues to uh, work to reconfigure its systems uh, after tonight's uh, landing at the Kennedy Space Center on normal 15 coming in uh, at 1.35 a.m. Central Time, 2.35 a.m. Eastern. Crew of Endeavor, Commander Mark Pe Kelly, Pilot Greg Johnson, and Flight Engineer Roberto Vittori, along with uh, spacewalkers Mike Fink, Drew Foistel, and Greg Shamatov, uh, completing four spacewalks on their mission to the International Space Station, setting it up for uh, 10 more years of research and activities aboard or the space station on orbit. Delivering a new alpha magnetic spectrometer, which is uh, sifting through cosmic particles to look for clues to the origins of the universe. Servicing systems including the solar alpha rotary joint that allows the solar rays to turn and track the sun to generate electricity for the space station systems. Installing a new filtration system for the oxygen generation system to keep it working for a longer period and uh, changing out a carbon dioxide removal assembly bed, delivering uh, an express logistics carrier to the truss structure, which is holding uh, spare parts for use on board the space station. Yeah, we got RGDs are off, side hats, drag suit, landing gear all safe. Thanks, Mark. Commander Mark Keller reporting that uh, all the landing systems are being safed. We're watching these infrared cameras that uh, smoke and heat you can see uh, billowing uh, out the uh, top portion of the shuttle's fuselage are the uh, vents for the auxiliary power unit exhaust. Once we get the body flat position, we will be go for Ops 9. 